Welcome aboard Astria, the deep sea exploration submarine. This is your captain speaking. We're on our way to investigate a hydrothermal chimney situated in a mountain range 1,700 meters below sea level. Few explorers have ever ventured this deep. We are alone. In the middle of the Atlantic, the water temperature is 28 degrees centigrade. We are beginning our descent. The Atalant is disappearing into the distance. Raise your eyes and bid goodbye to the sun. A shoal of tuna has come to pay us a visit. Tuna hunt as deep down as 400 meters. Let's continue our descent. After two hours of total darkness, just behind us, we spot a glimmer of light. It's Victor, the robot, controlled by the Atalant via a cable which is several kilometers long. Astria, Astria, visual contact established. Look down there. The chimney is already inside. Happy diving. Temperature 4 degrees. Pressure 170 times atmospheric pressure. We're here. There it is. The hydrothermal source, nicknamed the Eiffel Tower, rising majestically before our eyes. A boiling hot source as tall as a five-story building. Four degrees centigrade seawater penetrates the oceanic crust, where it heats to a temperature of 320 degrees and becomes mineral enriched before bursting forth in the form of fumaroles. Colonies of big orange mussels flourish here. How can these deep sea superheroes survive in such conditions and deprived of sunlight? Chemosynthesis is the secret. On dry land, life depends on photosynthesis. Down here, it's chemistry which creates sea creatures. See those long white filaments? They're bacteria. They transform minerals into organic matter. Understanding how things happen is the holy grail for scientists. They set up observatories to measure, listen, transmit. The BAS module over there is our thermometer. Here, Tempo, our photographer, captures even the slightest of movements in this little underwater world. And seamen, sitting on the seabed, transmits measurements in real time 
to the laboratory all year round. This extreme universe is a source of inspiration for researchers. Advances in medicine, chemistry and physics result from the metabolisms of its inhabitants. But it's time we got back to the Atalant. Let's begin our ascent. This mission is coming to a close. But you can join the Ephraimair researchers. They need your help, your way of looking at things, your observational skills and critical minds. Just push open the deep sea spy lab door, come in and share the excitement. I'll be waiting for you there. This is your captain. Looking forward to seeing you soon in the depths of the ocean.